folks! Welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today I'm making a 3D printed articulated monster. Barb Makes Things! So I'm taking this 2D drawing that I did several years ago and turning it into a 3D articulated model. I want all the limbs to be able to move in their sockets. I separated out the arms and legs and extended them so the prints would overlap with the body. If I were doing this with, say, cardboard, I would attach the arms and legs behind the body with a simple brass fastener. But no, for this, I want the joints to be inside the body. I pulled the SVG file into Fusion 360 and extruded the body and limbs. I made the limbs a few millimeters shorter than the body so they could fit inside. I'm going to attach them with a pin, so I'll need some holes. These shapes will make sure there's enough material around the hole. and these cylinders I'll use to cut out the openings for the limbs. I changed the body's appearance to a transparent texture so I could see what was going on inside. I printed the body first in green and the limbs in silver. Then, once I saw the silver, I decided to make the body that too. I didn't film the whole thing because it was late and a long print and sleep went out over footage. Now let's put it all together. To attach the parts, I'm using the filament rivet technique that I showed in a previous how-to video. Check the link in the description for that. I straightened some extra filament with a heat gun. It's fun to watch this stuff just stretch out. There were some pretty severe overhangs, but I printed it without support. Cleaning up one side is easier than cleaning up both. The holes were pretty close to the right size, but just a touch tight. That's alright, I have a tool for that. I really like this technique for rivets. It's so easy and quick. Eagle Eye viewers might notice that this is what the chess set Rook is based off of. I'm calling him Ollie. Could I have done this as a print and place thing? Probably. 
but you're not gonna print something smoother moving than a regular piece of filament. And this guy needs to dance. If you like this video, share it with your friends. If not, share it with your enemies. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how to's. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.